So this is my partially complete uh, MechBoard 64 keyboard. Um, it's, um, it's using a 3D printed uh, housing here. Um, and uh, original keys, um, there's the yellow uh, Cherry MX uh, switches that I, keyboard switches that I've soldered onto the, the board. Um, so everything's soldered in, uh, the keyboard connector's ready to go. The, the mech board actually has a section for, um, for dealing with the caps lock key uh, so that you can use a normal a momentary switch to to basically um, latch it to caps lock. I, I decided not to do that. I have all the parts to, to solder this on, but on this initial build, I'm going to uh, try to, to see if I can find a um, a latching switch. I know they're, they're kind of rare, but um, I'm sure I'll figure something out. But uh, I, I love that the shift lock. Uh, open free in case I am able to find a, a, the correct latching switch for, for that part. Um, so this this is a 3D printed um, keyboard housing. Uh, I didn't glue it, I just used kind of a soldering iron to kind of weld it together. And then um, the, the other issue, the other thing I have to do is, is I have to 3D print um, keyboard adapters, key adapters. Uh, these Cherry MX switches have a, a different um, connector, a uh, different uh, interface than a typical chip, than a typical key. So here's the, the Commodore key, literally the Commodore key. And uh, if you notice that you know, these just don't fit because they, they don't have the right, right dimensions. So you can 3D print these up. Um, don't print these up because these are actually uh, these break easily. I found out that the hard way. Uh, there's a there's another version that that is on the, the MechBoard open source site that has a STL file that prints up um, keyboard adapters that are are a little sturdier than these. I'm not sure where I found these, but somebody had posted them. But the problem is, um, as you can see here, this is one that broke. Um, it uh, and when it breaks, it, it's kind of a problem because then you end up with a little piece inside there. So make sure you don't don't use these square ones. That there's there's some round um, that are round ones that are are better, um, the stronger. And that's the rest of these are using the the round keys. The other problem with these is they don't really stay. I and mean, you can put them on, but they they come off really easily. Whereas these are, are sturdy. Um, these really uh, connect on, and I, I haven't had one of these break yet. The, the round style connector or adapter. So um, I'm in the process of, of 3D printing one up, um, another set of adapters. Here's here's the old adapter, and um, the, the, these adapters that I knew they're actually new version. I, I thought they would. Uh, Fit better, but they actually don't, and they they break off easily. So, so don't use this the square style if, if you run across these. So, yeah. So I'm gonna in the process of 3D printing up uh, another set, and uh, so let's let's go see what's going on over there. Okay, so I downloaded the STL file from the MechBoard website, and this is kind of the official. Um, Key, key adapters. Um, you can see how that these are round, and so um, they're, they're a little stronger, in my experience. And, and when I got this STL file, it was actually upside down, so I changed it to be right side up, so it's plain flat. The only odd thing is they, they have this little neck board thing here, this little plaque that is kind of floating in the air. So that's probably not going to print very well. I'm printing it without supports, um, so that. We'll probably just end up kind of like a mess over on that side, but I don't really need the, these other um, adapters on this side. Um, I I only really need the, the standard adapters. So so I have that uh, sliced up uh, in the slicer, and um, I actually have it 
uploaded to my OctoPrint server out in the garage with the 3D printer. Uh, we're going to set set this to preheat, and then um, there's a 3D printer. Looks like it's ready to go. Um, Once that's the temperature is come, once the 3D printer comes up to temperature, we can uh, start printing. So I'm going to actually find the printer here. Uh, the neck board. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and print. Load and print, yes. So once once the 3D printer, the nozzle and the bed get up to temperature, um, this should start printing. It looks like the uh, printer has about reached temperature, so it should start uh, start printing here in a minute. It says it'll take about. Oh, there it goes. So it'll take, take about two hours and uh, two and a half hours according to to over here, the, the, the estimate. So we'll come back in two, uh, two and a half hours and hopefully we have uh, have some uh, key, key adapters for our, our MechBoard 64 board. Um, the, the strong ones that um, aren't going to break on us. So our um, Keycap adapters are, are printing on the printer, so hopefully it's, it's laying down the, the raft now, and um, so hopefully in a couple hours we'll have uh, some more keycaps adapters. So we're still printing those uh, key adapters um, for the mech board. Um, it says it's um, about, and you can see it's about 18% done. Um, so, yeah, looks like it's about right, but uh, we're back. So I wanted to uh, show you the progress on my uh, MechBoard 64 build so far. Uh, the top board here is obviously my uh, old original Commodore 64. And then I have my, uh, my MechBoard build down here. And I'm in the process of of moving um, the, the keys from the old board to the new board. But in order to do that, in order it to fit on the new keyboard uh, switches, you have to uh, use uh, adapters. So the adapters are just little plastic pieces that look something like that. Um, you know, I, I 3D printed these up. And uh, I initially printed up uh, some of these round adapters and those worked great and then I found some square square adapters I thought they might work better uh, these are terrible they, they snap off real easily the, the recess inside goes right up into the, the part the top part so there's not a lot of material holding them together um, so they, they snap off really easily these round connectors work better, adapters. Uh, these, you can actually download the STL file from the MechBoard uh, 64 website. And, and these are the ones you want to print up. So, um, so anyway, I've been adding uh, them to these keys, pulling these keys, and then just sticking them on where they go. So, um, so I got this one all loaded up, ready to go. Just press down, they snap right on, and it's ready to go. And then to pull the next key, use this. The easy, I mean, you can pull these off by hand or carefully with a screwdriver, but I'd recommend you know, this little tool. It's only a few dollars, and it's better than breaking a key. You just lift right off. Now the annoying part is this spring tends to get caught up in it. So 
that same thing. Just take the, the key that we have, key adapter, press it in, get it started. Have to press down pretty hard. Once it's seated, just it's in there. And just press it on. So the, the thing I still need to worry or figure out what I'm going to do is uh, this shift lock key. Apparently they do have a modern, or at least at one time they, they did make these keys with uh, the locking function. I haven't been able to find any, but I'm, I'm hoping um, that I will be able to find one. But, you know, if it's at the end of the day, I mean, how often do you really use the shift lock? I don't think I normally use it. Um, the other part that's kind of a challenge is finding cable, I and mean, it's almost impossible to find a, a 2.54 millimeter header uh, 10 or 20 position ribbon cable and connector. So um, still looking for that, and we might have to use two 1x10 connectors. Um, that's my backup plan if I can't find the 1x20. Um, Uh oh, that's a square connector, it looks like. The key just fell off. So that's why. Oh no. Yeah. I have to replace those. Hopefully, I don't end up with uh, this. They're stuck in there. But yeah, that's my um, neck board so far. I'll uh, probably post an update video when I have it farther along or when it's complete. To uh, kind of give a re give a review.